Hi everyone, this is David Hecht, also your instructor, David Taylor, and um, I brought along a special friend who's going to demonstrate how to do some uh, week one skills. So let us now cut to my friend. The friend is actually Lola Villa, who is the owner of the island. Whenever you land, you're probably going to land where Lola is right now in the water. No problem. Click the F key on your keyboard and then forward and back will allow you to fly forward and back, left and right. Lola is flying over here to the National University emblem. You might land here too when you first log in. Regardless uh, of where you land, you want to make your way over to Escobar House. By the way, somebody has already gotten some things out and started doing some things. That's great. Just be sure to clean up after yourself. Again, we're going to hit the F key forward button. We're going to fly Lola over here to Escobar House, past the cherry tree and the willow, and we're going to land her here in the chat circle. Whenever you land in the chat circle, all you need to do is to find a empty pose ball, right click on it, and in the menu that appears, select sit here, and you will sit there. To move around, probably you will want to click on camera controls. That's what I do. Camera controls allow you to move in all directions. Here I'm going to spin around to see Lola. You can also hold down your Alt key and use your mouse to zoom in and out, left and right, if you don't want to use the camera controls. But camera controls allow you to spin right, spin left. You can also tilt the entire camera up tilt the entire camera down, etc. Move in all dimensions here. But we need uh, Lola to stand up here. One of your first tasks is to buy Linden Dollars. To do that, you click on Buy L Dollars up here. And as you'll see, that will open up a menu for you, I want to buy and then suddenly the system will detect that you have not yet set up an account. To buy Lindens in Second Life you need to set up an account either with a credit card or with PayPal and that will allow you to buy dollars. Keep in mind before you do this that this course does not have a textbook which are usually a lot more than Linden dollars, which are only like a quarter or a fifth cent each. Each Linden dollar is worth that. But I also have lot of, lots of Linden dollars as Lola and uh, as also my avatar David. And I will begin by giving everyone some Linden dollars. The next thing that you want to do is to edit your appearance. You can do that by right clicking and dragging down to edit my appearance. And you'll see that the first thing open over here is the current outfit that you have on. As you can see, Lola had on the gamer female. But if we want to change, we simply select an outfit, open it up, and start right clicking and selecting replace. Or we can right click and select wear. Now keep in mind that it takes a little while for these textures to come in. Here we're going to select wear on the pants. We're going to select wear on the skirt. And as you'll see, uh, the pants and the skirt came in pretty quickly. But some of these other things aren't going to come in so, so quickly. As you can see, she's got a bare foot now on her left. Let's see if we can get a right shoe on her. There you go. There the shoes came in. Now let's put a ponytail on her. Yeah, that came in pretty quickly. That's good. That means we've got a good connection. Here we're going to replace the actual avatar shape from the gamer girl to the girl next door. And here she goes, changing into that. And we can also replace the skin. Right click and select replace and now she will have the actual skin textures of the girl next door. So that's how all of that goes and you can just 
wear whatever outfit you want. You can go buy new outfits and wear them and create whatever kind of outfit you want. The next thing we're going to do is to edit shape. Whenever you edit shape, this gives you access to change everything about your avatar. For example, here we're on body and you can control the height of your avatar. If you slide on down, you can control the thinness or the thickness of your avatar. That's right, you can be as svelte as you ever would want to be. You can go all the way down to zero body fat if you want to. Same thing with the head. You can give yourself any kind of head you want to. Eyes, ears, nose, mouth, chin. In other words, these avatars are completely customizable. You can even have a picture of yourself and use these controls to make that avatar look exactly like you, if you want to. And that's what editing shape is all about. Now in your inventory, whenever you join Second Life, if you look under clothes, you will see that you will be given a certain number of clothes. Here I've got my current outfit on, open and it shows me what she's wearing. But I can open up in my inventory a variety of outfits and a variety of dresses that I've accumulated. It's even possible to change genders. For example, here let's change the female Lola to a male Lola and it's fun just to play the game as the opposite gender than what you really are just to kind of do some gender role playing uh, that is often a uh, lesson that is is taught on a variety of levels for a variety of reasons and so here you can see that Lola is slowly changing into a male first she's got some uh, professional things there going on and as we add these things, you'll see the male shape change. Looks like Lola had on a bra underneath her mesh there. We're eventually going to have to get off that bra. But as you can see, you can make yourself human, non-human, male, female. And you can make yourself look like anything you want to look like. And you can wear anything you want to wear. That is the long and short of it whenever it comes to customizing. Now once the customizing is finished, another thing that you've been assigned to do is to complete the profile. So you right click on the avatar and select profile. Now to edit your profile you click on edit profile and one of the things that I want you to be sure to do is to upload some kind of identifying picture. It certainly doesn't have to be of yourself, it doesn't have to be in real life, but it really helps me online to be able to have a visual reference for you. And one of the quickest ways to do that is to go up here and take a snapshot of yourself, which I'm doing now. Go to World and click on Snapshot. Clicking Auto Refresh will change the snapshot as your avatar changes. As you can see in the background, my avatar is changing position a little bit. And by auto refreshing the snapshot, I can kind of keep on clicking until I get what I want. And once uh, I've gotten what I want, I click Save to Disk, and that's for free. You want to save it in a very low res JPEG, maybe slide the quality down to the lower part of the slide bar. And certainly you want to make it small. As you saw, the thumbnail was very, very small up there. So I'm going to change one side of this, and that automatically changes, changes it in aspect ratio. So I'm going to make this very small here, 400 by 225, and then simply save it to my desktop.
as a snapshot. Okay. And now when I go to my profile, I can click on profile picture and I can upload whatever I want to represent myself. And again, you're doing it for yourself, but you're also doing it for me and for your classmates so that we can have a visual reference. And once that's uploaded, uh, the next time you log in, you will have a new profile picture there. Now, another thing I want you to do is to navigate over to the Dublin Island and to go through the Trinity College avatar orientation. So we'll click on that link in class. Up comes a Slurl. A Slurl is a web link to a virtual world. You click on Teleport. If Second Life is already open, you're fine. If not, click on Launch Application. Since our Second Life is already open, you'll see that the place has opened where we want to go, Dublin Island, and all we need to do is click on Teleport. And when we click on Teleport, that takes us to Dublin Island. We'll land and wait a second for it to come in and the music to start playing. And once things are in, we kind of will move around a little bit to make sure we know where we are. There's the pub there. There's another person moving across in front of us. They're kind of grayed out a little bit. But what you're looking for is the college, the Trinity College. And here it is down at the end of this road. Again, it might take a little bit for it to res in for you. Now, if you, if you want to be in a hurry, you can fly wherever you want to go. And that'll get you there a little bit faster. Instead of walking, if you want to run, you simply uh, double tap your forward arrow and double tapping that forward arrow will cause your avatar to run. So here we are in the quadrangle at a replication of Trinity College in Dublin, Ireland, one of the oldest universities in Europe. Click here to see a shared media presentation on Second Life. That's great. Here are the avatar training stations over here. This is just to teach you some basic skills. As you can see, Lola is running. That's because I double tapped the forward key. And I want you to go through these avatar stations. They're very simple instructions, but they do serve as a really kind of good basic orientation to what you need to do as an avatar to move around. Now, to create a landmark, you click on that star up there, which means favorites. And that opens the landmark menu. This is something else you have to do. And then if you want to create the landmark, you scroll down. Remember, another thing you have to do is to know the XYZ coordinates. There they are for Dublin Trinity College. And we click Close. And as you see, the Landmarks folder is opened up. And I now have a landmark to Dublin Trinity College. I also have one in National University that I can double click on. And that will get me back home real fast if I simply click Teleport. So here we are, back at National University Island. Now, one of the other things that you had to do was uh, to collect information from a note card. To get a note card, you simply left click or touch anything. You can find a lot of note cards over here in the tool shed. And all of these things here are note cards. You just simply left click on them and that will pop up a window. You click on keep and that opens up the note card and now all you have to do is to copy and paste that note card into a Word document, add in your snapshot, add in your XYZ coordinates, upload it and you will be finished with one of your important assignments for week one in EDT 613. Let's fly over here. It took me forever to build this build this thing. I can't believe the floor on it is gone. I'm going to have to put a floor on it. It's all supposed to be one big thing and somehow the floor got deleted. I have no idea. But if uh, you don't want to hang out there, you can always go hang out at the Greek temple over here. Again, to fly, you press, press F and then your forward keys and fly wherever you want to fly. 
and we can uh, kind of nudge ourselves down here a little bit and go right on in and have a seat on one of the benches and that will give us a good view of National University Island. Okay, good luck with all of your week one activities.